the moon and the waves. Hey everyone, today we are looking at my January favorites and unfavorites. I have kind of a large number of unfavorites this month. I feel like I kind of didn't have unfavorites for many, many months before this. And so, I don't know, is that a good thing? Is that not a good thing? I'm not sure. I'm gonna talk to you about the favorites first. That's just how I like to do it. I'm glad you're here. I hope you guys had an awesome month. If you have not subscribed to my channel and you wanna keep up with all my new videos every week, subscribe. If you're already subscribed, you wanna maybe click the notification bell. YouTube is weird now. I feel like I have to ask you that, even though it's annoying. I hope you forgive me, but yeah favorites. I have some. First off, I have three different kind of like skin foundation products to talk to you about. First off, the very new Maybelline Dream Cushion Fresh Face Liquid Foundation on the go. It's a cushion foundation. This was sent to me. I got two different colors and honestly, I have never liked a cushion foundation. I've never been like over eager to love them either. I wasn't over eager to love this, but I was pleasantly surprised. The coverage is stunning. It's not too much. It's not not enough. I use a beauty blender. Honestly, I have not used the applicator that comes in it. Um, looks like I've actually also lost it. So I have the color 30 and the color 20. This is me when I'm not self tan. This is me when I'm self tan. So it kind of works out perfectly. It has just like a really nice finish. I wouldn't say it's overly long wearing. And if you've never loved a cushion foundation, this could be the one for you. It was for me to kind of switch gears. A foundation that is very much long wearing and very very much like full coverage the Kat Von D Lock It foundation this is not a new foundation it's been around for a long time but as it's been out I've heard so many I don't know I don't want to say bad things because I've heard some people say that they love it but I've heard more people say it's super super heavy it's way too much it's cakey it's ugly blah 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 blah, blah. so I stayed away from it but the stars aligned and I actually got this from a friend because it didn't match her and it actually doesn't match me either. It is a really, really light shade. So the very first time I used it, I mixed it with my Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation, which you guys know I absolutely love and that worked. And now I am obsessed with that combination. It bumps up the coverage of the Matte and Poreless and it makes everything just like stay forever and ever and ever, amen. Honestly, I haven't used this by itself. So like, I don't know if I can put this in the favorites by itself, but I'm thinking about doing like a new updated foundation routine. Let me know down below if you wanna see that. I'll totally do it if you wanna see it. And the last foundation-y kind of product I have to show you is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydro Boost. Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint with Hyaluronic Acid. It says it moisturizes and plumps skin for 24 hours. I showed you guys this product when I did like a what's new in the drugstore haul at the very end of 2016 and I didn't have thoughts on it. I like swatched it and I was like, this isn't gonna be a very high coverage, blah, 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 blah. And I, honestly, I kind of didn't have very high hopes for it. I ended up really liking this. It says hydrating tint, so that makes me think, okay, this is gonna be like a really, really dewy, like slipping and sliding all day, super sheer thing, like why even bother? It's just gonna be a mess. But pleasantly surprised, there is some coverage here. Also, it isn't like a slippery, slidey mess. And I do think the hyaluronic acid in it actually is like, it makes your skin look kind of good. Like, I, I don't know, I just, I was very skeptical when I bought this. Like, why did I buy this? I was so skeptical about it, but I really like it. And this shade actually does work for me. It's a little bit light. I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll try the darker one. Who knows if that would work. This is in shade 40 nude. Luna is <laughs> emerging from under the bed. What is up with you little girl? You're crazy. Anyway, uh, also kind of a funny packaging, right? It's kind of like the Clinique super full coverage foundation. Didn't love that one. I have that one as well. Um, I'm not crazy about the packaging, but I don't know, I was pleasantly surprised. I feel like I said pleasantly surprised about 75 times. 
All right, next up, I have a new nail polish favorite. These are the KL polishes. They're by Kathleen Lights. These were sent to me, I don't know, a while ago, like weeks ago. I've tried out three of them. I've tried both of these. I just put this one on my nails today, and sadly, I don't like this shade as much as I like this one, but I love this one. It is Brick Sidewalk, and it's just kind of like a really ready brown, like a clay brown kind of. And honestly, didn't see myself really, really, really loving the color. But the entire week I wore it, I just like kept looking at my nails and really, really liking it. In my experience, these have been super opaque with just one coat. I do do two coats, but it's like they're kind of okay with only one coat, which is really, really nice in any nail polish. Also, they last a little under a week, which is pretty much the lifespan of whatever polish on me. Um, I, I'm not really asking for more than that. I generally just wear my polish for about a week and I redo it weekly. So like huge congratulations to Kathleen Lights. Like, you're doing good things and I like it. I got my bangs trimmed. I was thinking about doing it myself, didn't do it myself. Many of you told me not to do it myself on Instagram. <laughs> and then whenever I went to see my stylist, she was like, I'm so glad you didn't do that. <laughs> so. No promises, I still might do it. I'm just curious. I don't wanna see if I can do it. I don't know. Do you cut your own bangs? I, that's a whole side thing. The next product I have to show you is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. This is so pretty. It's what I have on my eyes right now, on my lids. This is the most opaque I've ever worn it. Other times I have like kind of sheared it out and like tapped it out across my lid without shadow, with shadow. I am super into this. I got this from Sephora not too long ago. This is the color Smoky Storm. I was torn between a few colors. It lays down the glitter like nobody's business. I talked about this in a recent Sephora haul. I don't know if you saw it. I'm pretty sure it just came out a couple days ago. Definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. For the longest time, I stayed away from glitter because it's messy, it's hard to work with, is it even worth it? It wasn't for me for the longest time. But once I saw this product, I was like, maybe, just maybe. And it all worked out. I actually really, really love this. I definitely see myself going back and getting more colors. This is beautiful. If you've been scared of glitter, you just didn't want the hassle, this is definitely the answer if you want that sparkle. Hello. Next up, I just have to mention this to be completely honest about my favorites for the month. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I used it in my boyfriend as my voiceover video and people asked, do you love that? Is it all it's cracked up to be? Because this is a super hyped product, but it deserves it. These colors are so amazing. It definitely leans more towards like the reds and pinks and that's my jam. I feel like that's like so trendy right now. This is everything. The only thing that it is not is a matte black, and I love matte black. I use black eyeshadow for my winged liner every single day, almost every day. So that's something that I have to go to another palette for when I'm using this palette. I don't really love that, but when this is the pigmentation level, it's just like, you can't complain. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just, they're just gorgeous. The point is, it's not overhyped. I too am in love with it. All right, so I do have some makeup unfavorites, but I wanna share my kind of non-beauty favorites before I go into those. Two movies right off, La La Land and Jackie. I loved both of them. If you watch my weekend vlogs, you heard all about that. I love both of them. Obviously, they're very, very different movies. La La Land is like, feel good, Ryan Gosling, you are the love of my life. How on earth do I stop listening to the song City of Stars on repeat? for the rest of my life. Amazing, amazing. I love Ryan Gosling's voice. It's a thing. And then Jackie, Natalie Portman, doing Jackie Kennedy so well. It's unbelievable. Uh, it's, it's a dark movie. It's not a happy movie. I cried and I don't even cry in movies. It It's a good movie. See it if you're at all interested. It's not gonna be for everybody, just saying. I'm also releasing a new Spotify playlist. This is just what I've been listening to recently. It's not necessarily like all new stuff, but it's all stuff that I love. Uh, the link will be down below. You can follow me on Spotify or you can just listen to it, whatever. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's called uh, The Moon and the Waves, which is significant in my brain. I can't explain it. All right, my first unfavorite is the Balm's Highlight and Contour. I love the name, I love the packaging, I love the Balm, but I was not so happy with this palette. You have two matte highlights, two shimmer highlights, 
three different contours and one blush. Uh, the contours definitely were really, really warm for me. I don't like how skinny the colors are. It's hard to like get your brush in there and only get into one color. Uh, this blush is not for everybody. I mean, not that you can make one blush for everybody. I don't know, maybe that's supposed to be a blush. Who knows? It didn't make sense to me. The matte highlights were not good for under the eye, which is the main place where I wanna use like a matte highlight powder. They're just kind of like chalky. They're not like creamy, buttery. Like they're just not something that lays very nicely. You know, you wanna be careful with what you're using powder wise under your eyes. And I don't think that these were very flattering. Uh, both of these highlights are pretty, but they're not stunning. So it's not like this palette was just like a complete fail. I just, I just didn't like it. I don't think it's worth it. Next up, this is a Makeup Forever Matte Liquid Lipstick. These are new, these were sent to me. I got like a bunch of colors. Before I completely hate on this one, I have to say the darker colors I like, but I wore this one in my Sephora haul and it played me so hard. It looked so bad. And at the beginning of the video, it looked great. It was laying nicely, but I was also like home alone. I hadn't been out. The moment I started like talking and recording my video, it started to gather up in not just the corners of my mouth, but I mean, if you saw the video, I'll insert a picture. You will see, even if you missed the video, it's just like it gathered and it looked awful. And I was so excited that I had actually found like a light nude that made me happy because I 99% of the time I try them on and I wipe them off right away because I think they look bad on me. Even though the color was nice on me, it wore like a nightmare. Yes, it is a liquid lipstick. Yes, it is matte, but there's something about it that doesn't set completely. I feel like some people are prone to that happening to them and some people aren't. I definitely am prone to that. So that's just something to know if that's something that happens to you. There are other ones that are really pretty, like the darker ones, love them. This one, no. Another product that just did not work for me uh, is the Hourglass Ambient Light Correcting Primer in Mood Light. It's kind of like a brightening primer. It's sort of like pinky purpley tone, but when you apply it to your face, it blends out to be just basically totally invisible, but it does look really smooth and nice on the skin. When I swatched it in Sephora, I was like, ooh, this is beautiful. Yes, I gotta try this. And plus, I love Hourglass, but this was a pricey primer and I did get really, really greasy when I wore it. And that's just not something I need in my life. I kind of tend to be oilier, so I'm taking this back. I'm not into it. All right, and for my magic moment of the month, if you watch my vlog channel, you probably guess this, uh, we took a trip to Santa Fe for a weekend and I got to see the most snow that I've ever seen in my life. I've had like a sad, sad Texan life and I've never gotten to like really experience snow. Like, I mean, I've seen snow, but it's never been a substantial amount. And it, it really wasn't even that much snow that we saw in Santa Fe, but it was definitely enough to make my life. I was like a kid, like I was so happy. If you saw the vlog, you, totally saw it all over my face. I did like a two part vlog. P.S. Check out my vlog channel. <laughs> Shameless plug. But yeah, that was definitely my magic moment. Going to Santa Fe was so much fun. To Meow Wolf, we had amazing food. We went to 10,000 Waves. It was just, it was so much fun. What was your magic moment? I would love to hear all the good things that are happening in y'all's life. Tell me down below. And that's about it. I hope you guys had an awesome month. I hope February is amazing for you. Do you guys want like a Valentine's makeup tutorial? I feel like everyone like has somehow already done one. Do you want one from me? I don't know. Let me know. If you haven't subscribed, again, please subscribe so you can keep up with all my new videos. And if you have, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. And you can find me on social media. It's Lillian says absolutely everywhere and I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.